In 2018, the pastor of Shekinah Glory Community's life changed forever when her son fired a fatal shot. It was only when my son violated someone and took their lives that I said that uh, either I'm going to lay here or I'm going to get up and I'm going to fight for what's right. Now raising her son's children, Pastor Tanya Sanderson decided it was time to focus on victims. I had a drive in me, a fight in me to be a part and stand. No, no, I love my son, but I have to do the right thing. Pastor Sanderson decided the right thing was to support all the mothers and other women left behind struggling after the shots were fired. She started a support group in 2019 called My Sister's Keeper Through God. The group has been busy with a seemingly endless number of killings on the West End, including last November's shooting that claimed the life of 11-year-old Dominic Davis. I feel something is missing, emptiness, bleeding, my heart bleeds. Um, because we are seeing more killings and, and not more coming together. Last weekend, Pastor Sanderson organized a rally focused on Davis's killing and to remember all lives lost by gun violence. The rally, like so many others, called for an end to the gun violence. Her support group, she says, is trying to heal through love and hugs. If you need that hug, I have that hug for you. If you need that love, I have that love for you. Pastor Sanderson says the goal of the program is to not only connect women with mental health resources, but also give them job and life skills. We cover an area, area of uh, physical, emotional, spiritual, financial, every area. That kind of commitment, Pastor Sanderson says, is the only way to bring true healing. Interrupting the cycle of violence, one woman at a time. This program is saying that we're here 24 seven. Whatever you need, we're here. In the West End, Tyler Madden, Local 12 News. Thanks for checking out the Local 12 YouTube channel. Click the links and tap subscribe to get notified anytime we post.